G'day. So today, let's white balance a can of chickpeas because who doesn't like chickpeas from 80 cents from Coles? Quite the bargain. I don't work for Coles, but Coles want to give me some money. I would not say no. There's a couple of ways we can white balance, but today I'm going to show you a really quick way to do it. And let's look at our scope first. And this is a good way to check if your image is white balanced. So if you see these lines here, so we have red, green, blue, obviously that's RGB. So if you want a good white balance, these should basically be one white solid line. And then the same goes down here with the blacks. As you can see, that's way off. So that means our white balance is off. As you can see, we're pushing a lot of blue. And if you look at our image, it is very blue. So what we need to do is we need to line all those up. Now in the past, what we would do is we'd go to our, get rid of that, go to our gain and we'd like push a little bit in. And then we do the same with the blacks. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, until we try to get something, but we reset that. So Control Home to take all your grades off. So there's two different ways we can go about this. If we shot it in RAW, all we'd have to do is come down to camera settings here, go to decode using, go to clip, and then just change our color temperature to say 5600 because that is daylight, and this was during the day. And then we just bring it up in our gain a little bit. That's a lot of it. And bring down our blacks a bit. And then we look at our white balance. We're a little bit off, as you can see, a little bit red. We'll just push some blue into their mids and that should give us a pretty nice looking image. So to check the white balance, now I have a really good video on how to use the um, RGB picker. So make sure to check that video out. That'll help you a lot. But all we're gonna do is right click, show picker RGB value. If you don't have this picker, just come across to over here and come down to qualifier, and that'll give you a qualifier. Now let's find the widest part in the image that isn't blown out, so the levels are correct. So as you can see, 221, 222, 225. So that's basically a really good white balance. Now let's bring it down a little bit. We are crushing those highlights. What we're looking for is a number that is basically as equal as it can possibly be. So that looks pretty good to me. So that's our whites. So anything that's really high in number, that'll be your whites. Now if you look at our black area, which is probably, let's say, so just trying to find the darkest area. Might just bring it down a little bit and make it a bit easier for ourselves. We're looking pretty good. I'd say we need to put a little bit more green just a tad into the blacks. Just the smallest amount. So that will be the lift area. And as you can see, we have basically a perfect white balance. And that was really quick because we're using our camera settings. Now, if we were, so let's start that again. Let's go back to our camera settings and let's go back to decode using and then go back to project. Not all the time you're gonna be using raw or bra footage. So an easy way to do this is again, we know that our image is too blue. So we want to get more warmth into our image. So again, we could go to the gain and do this, et cetera, et cetera. We're not going to do that. All we're going to do, we're going to come down to our temp option here. So the temp option is basically if you want to cool your image down or warm your image up. And this is basically your white balance. So we know our image is too blue. So you want to add some more warmth in. So if we push it right, that is adding more warmth into our image. So if we bring our scopes up and I'll control home to start again. Now, again, what I was talking about before is we want these three lines to basically be even. So let's bring it across. So again, we're adding more warmth into our image. So we'll say there looks pretty good. Now let's bring up our gain and Let's make it as bright as possible. So we can see what we're aiming for is this to be equal. So again, add a little bit more warmth in. Now let's bring it up and watch these three lines here. They're the brightest part of the image. We don't want to push them outside because then we'll be clipping our highlights. Now, if we look at our blacks, they're again, slightly off. So all we would do is make the smallest adjustment And bring them down 
And then our mids are a little bit off. So what you do is push it into the warmer areas. Now, if we take our scopes off, and we add some saturation in, and some contrast. Now let's check our white balance again. Just right click the qualifier. As you can see, we basically have a perfect white balance. Now we're a little bit too blue in the black, but that's okay. All we'd have to do is push that in to the warm. So we shouldn't have done that in the first place, but that's fine. Okay, so there we have it. We have a great white balance. Now we're probably a little bit warm, but that's okay. Let's bring it out a little bit. If we look at our numbers, we're pretty much spot on. Again, our black's a little bit off, but that's okay. Because we push them into the mids. And there we go. Now we have Control F Big Screen. This great looking can of chickpeas, we went from here, this really blue cold color, to this perfectly white balanced image. And all we did that was, was basically just use our temp selection here and made a few little adjustments in our gain, our gamma and our lift. So our highlights, our mids and our blacks, add a little bit more saturation, a little more contrast, and that's it. Now we have a great looking image which would be a great starting point for any grade you're doing. So that's just a nice little trick that I do all the time. Instead of coming across and using the gain, gamma and lift and doing it the hard way, this is just a great way to really kickstart your grade and to make it everything a little bit streamlined and a little bit faster. And again, something I use all the time. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe and to download all the footage you want. You can do whatever you want with the footage. The only thing you can't do is that you shot it, but of course, not sure anyone's going to claim they shot these can of chickpeas, <laughs> but um, that's fine. But any other footage on the website, go crazy. Yeah, again, put it on your color grading show rule. Do whatever you want with it. I could not care less. It's completely up to you guys. And thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions, and have a great night.